Hello and welcome to my F122 driver crew mode here today for part 56 for the Mexican Grand Prix. A race where we need to outscore Max Verstappen by at least 9 points to stay in the championship fight going into the last two races. So let's go to the race. So here we go then out to the Mexican Grand Prix. Five red lights are on the front row. Gasly is on pole. And we are racing in Mexico and it's a drag race down to the first corner and once again we've had an absolute shocker he's been taken to Max Verstappen's slipstream he's beat us off the line we have to beat him today there's no way to but it's about that Perez tries to go up the inside we send the dive bomber into the lead of the Mexican Grand Prix Max Verstappen now beating Perez P3 Gasly's been sent miles back and now this is Max Verstappen all over the back of us at the end of the opening lap trying to find a way past lap two a couple of corners later max verstappen was still trying to get past us and there he tries to force us wide and we've gone okay then we'll hold it all the way around the outside and we have stayed ahead of max verstappen but he is on the soft tires we are on the mediums and these medium tires to Feeling very, very good in these early stages. Max Verstappen here though had overtaken us and we're gonna pull to the outside and now we're holding all the way round the outside. Now up the inside and onto lap six. Max Verstappen comes in, comes at us again, Max Verstappen. Up our inside, this is a battle for the ages, for the championship. As we hold it around the outside again. Lap 6. He's still there, Max Verstappen. Lando Norris is overtaken. Perez further back. He's all kicking off further back as well. On to lap 7. And Max Verstappen still all over the back of us. He's like glue. And he pulls to the inside. And this time. It looks like he might have got us, but we're still holding it around the outside. This man doesn't learn. That's at least the fifth time we've done that to him. We stayed ahead all the way on to lap 19 now. Those soft tyres did around 12 laps. And these medium tyres really didn't switch off. So I just kept going and thought, let's do a different strategy. Let's go all the way on these mediums, go on to the softs. That's what we did and we came out behind Lando and we went on to win the race and we overtake him. So this is the result then for the Grand Prix. We of course won it. Lando Norris P2, that's two races now he's finished P2. Carlos Sainz after his DNF in America comes home for P3. Max Verstappen is P4, that's a good recovery off of his shocking American Grand Prix. Jamie can have another shocker though. Gasly was P5, Alonso P6, Perez P7, George Russell P8, Sonoda P9, Oscar P. Ashley rounds out the points, Charles Leclerc just outside in 11th, Magnussen 12th, Albon 13th, Tickton 14th, Schumacher 15th, the TV 16th, Robert Sportsman 17th, and Joe 18th, the last car who finished the race. Ocon and Lance Stroll both with DNF. In the championship then this is the top three. This is the battle we're only really focusing on. Max Verstappen now on 228 points. We are 43 points behind on 185 and Charles Leclerc is now unfortunately out of the championship fight on 173 points he's 115 points behind max verstappen only 52 points available for the rest of the season of course so that means we will have a new world champion in this career mode charles leclerc will not make it four world titles in a row he is out and it's just between me and max verstappen now we have to win in portugal next time out if we don't win max verstappen's world champion if we do win the race max verstappen i think only needs sixth place and he is a world champion so the pressure is all on me and we'll see after portugal whether we will be sitting here with another title decider goodbye